watching with us. The Christmas trees are down and what's known as the giving season has passed, but the need at local shelters doesn't go away. And Emily Byer joins us in Green Bay with more. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke and Fish. Hello, everyone. So we are here at the St. John the Evangelist, the homeless shelter, and we're in a very special room here. We're in the achievement room. This is an area that specifically made for men where they can focus and focus on themselves, but work towards sobriety. I'm joined by Alexa Preeti. Thank you for being with us. Tell us a little bit more about how this room is utilized. I see there's a lot of messages on the on the chalkboards here of encouragement to work towards sobriety. Exactly. So the men that will use this living room space right here, um, they are actively employed and or working on their sobriety. So it's something for people who have taken that step. They're not uh, just um, through the regular shelter. They've mm -hmm. achieved something. They're in this special place and they can focus on sobriety. They can focus on their employment mm -hmm. and really work on bettering themselves to get to self-sufficiency, um, to get to where they want to be, to really realize their hopes and dreams in life. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how, I mean, there's always been a need for this, but you guys have used to see this need fluctuate, but mm -hmm. now it's, you're at an all-time high. Uh, you last night were at a capacity of 111. That's over capacity, which is yeah. 84. Yeah. So we're just seeing greater numbers mm -hmm. and more need in our community. So when people come through our doors, uh, we're seeing at record highs. We used to see going, ourselves going into overflow. That means going over 84 people sure. just sometimes. Now it's our new norm. We're in overflow oh, wow. all the time. So that's just putting a lot um, of strain on our financial resources, mm -hmm. on our staff. But we're really stepping up to meet that need. And any community support we can get is always helpful, mm -hmm. whether it's donations, donating your time, or donating your dollars. All of those things really help us meet this growing need in our sure. community. And one really exciting way, obviously, like you said, donating your time or vol volunteering or donating money, um, you guys are a part of Give Big Green Bay again. Yes. Uh, tell me about that a little bit. This is, I mean, it's a 24-hour crowdfunding fundraiser and that is in February. Mm -hmm. How excited are you guys to be a part of that again? Because it's huge. We are so excited. <laughs> it's an extreme honor to be one of 40 agencies in the Green Bay community that was selected to be part of Give Big Green Bay. Um, it's 24 hours of charitable giving. Uh, we are among some of the most amazing groups in this community and we just encourage people to go to givebiggreenbay.org to learn about us as well as the other organizations involved. It it really is a group effort to raise funds, raise support for those who are most in need in our community. Um, we'll be having events, we'll be doing fun things to engage people um, during those times. It's February 18th to February 19th from noon to noon. Yeah. And so mark your calendar. Right, get it's, it on there now. It, it's really something we're excited about. Um, the Greater Green Bay Community Foundation um, so runs the event and then it's supported by matching dollars from the Green Bay Packers Foundation. Yeah. So we're just, just incredible. Yeah, so, we're just so excited for this community effort. Yeah. Well, so we'll have more on that on our website, NBC26.com. Stay with us. We're going to continue to learn more about the shelter here. Brooke and Fish, we'll send it back to you.